So as you see, there's absolutely no rule on how you can approach these notes. It's just personal taste, what you do. But it can make for a big difference, and it's, not, and it's really nice if you have the different options at hand. I would say just try anything. And if it works, it works. When you get that down, the idea of playing going up or going down, you can also easily, more easily actually combine it with regular riffs and regular bends, and you can sort of play with yourself and do things like this. Now, if you really have good control over the slide, you can even use it for traditional pull-offs and hammer-on techniques. A light touch is quite essential to make it sound right, but you can do things like this. Now, you may think, well, that's a lot of hassle, and what is it good for? But if you combine it with more notes or with different Sliding techniques, you can play stuff like this. So we see what we can do with hammer-ons and pull-offs and combining them with a slide. Uh, let's look at a few more examples how you can use like classic rock guitar tricks or, and combine them with a slide, with open strings, like this one. So that's making use of the open string. It becomes a little more complex if we do that with a fretted string, but treat it as if it was an open string, like this example. <laughs> 